Good morning. I'm Mike McCormick here at GBTA Studios here in Berlin, and I'm here with Juha Yarninen from Finair. Welcome. Good morning. Happy to be here. So, uh, exciting times in the industry, exciting, exciting times, times for you personally. personally. You're making a change moving from Finnair to Virgin Atlantic. That's right. Um, taking on a new role there. First, like, what, what's, what is the new role? And kind of, you know, let's talk a bit about the aviation industry. Yeah, sure. So I'm joining Virgin Atlantic on 21st of January. I will be the new Executive Vice President for Commercial. Okay. Responsible for network sales and marketing, distribution, and loyalty. So that gives you a pretty broad perspective on the industry, and uh, you know what, what are you seeing? Uh, you know uh, changes. Well, certainly, why you're in your role with Finair, and as you go into this new role, what changes have you been seeing in the aviation industry here in Europe? One thing has been, of course, the tremendous growth of the industry. Uh, especially, we see the growth of the middle classes in in China. That's one big driver, or in Asia in general, but also the customer demographics. I mean, business travel is. It's in a fast change as well. There will be more new type of startup companies. It's not necessarily the big corporations anymore only. Right. So there's a bit customer segmentation happening there. And also technology development. Right. I think that's impacting all of us. Um, and I think all airlines and all companies in the travel industry have to keep up, catch up, uh, to stay, stay uh, with the development. Uh, and I think that's probably a common challenge and an opportunity for the industry. So... You know, personalization, big issue, you know, big uh, challenge for everyone and certainly a big demand for the marketplace. Uh, Virgin, certainly a, a strong brand known for its uh, connection to the customer. You know, talk a bit about that in terms of, you know, what, what types of, uh, how is technology being used? What, what are the uh, opportunities that are ahead for, uh, you know, the, the airline industry when it comes to that personalization goal? I think the customer segmentation, personalization yeah. is the key because at the end of the day, cost consumers are different. Uh, and we need to be able to use the data that we have, or together with the partners, the data that they have on the consumer so that we can actually segment the product that we offer. Uh, airlines have been unbundling their products uh, for a while now, and I think it's, it's been yeah. a bit of a challenge to sell that consistently. Yeah. So I think it's now by combining the customer data and the offer we have, so that we can have the best offer for the res respective consumer. But it's, it's still a learning curve, uh, I think, for the whole industry. How do we maximize it in a, in a consistent way? Right. So from a buyer perspective, and that's certainly the focus of uh, our event here and, uh, you know, the, the focusing on the buyer community and their need, uh, what trends are you seeing there? What do, what do you see, what's important, do you think, uh, to the buyers today? Uh, the key thing for us from, a, from an airline perspective is that we can offer actually all the product segments that we have and, and really try to segment it in the correct way but also that we utilize the technology we have to bring the customer updated during the journey as well when, when things change. Right. I think that's one of the biggest and, frustrations. And they do, yes. Uh, frustrations for, for any passenger, any consumer, that when things happen on the way, that they don't get the information, they don't get necessarily rebooked, or if there's any changes, that how can we utilize the day that we have, the means of contacting the passenger and resolving the issues. Uh, and finding a solution before the, even the consumer knows, knows him or herself. Um, that's our responsibility as an airline to make sure that we can improve on that area. And that, that's something that Finnair has been working a lot on it, and I know Virgin Atlantic as well. So any words of advice for the buyers in the room when they're approaching their airline negotiations and relationships? I think one thing is that you have to be open for the new technology change. Right. It means that we actually have to work together more than maybe in the past, uh, sharing customer data where it makes sense so that we can be better as an airline to serve the customers they have and the corporate travelers they have. Right. Well, thank you for joining us here today in the studio. I look forward to seeing you on center stage. And I'm Mike McCormick, live from GBTA Studio here in Berlin.